What's up guys? We had a uh, awesome morning this morning, uh, preaching in a little barrio, um, about two hours, well, about an hour and a half away uh, here in Nicaragua and got to be the first one up to preach. It was an incredible experience. Uh, this afternoon, uh, back at five, we're headed back up there and uh, we're gonna throw a huge revival, do a big feeding, gonna cook a ton of food, feed as many people uh, as we possibly can. And then we are going to uh, have some fun with the kids, serving uh, these incredible people. I hope you guys are having a great Sunday and look forward to catching up with us this week. I just strongly believe that to whom much is given, much is required. Uh, and that you're blessed to be a blessing, but you're also blessed by being a blessing. Like, like I've been blessed and so it's my responsibility to bless other organizations, other people, other things. But by doing so, I'm also then blessed because of it. And so, um, you know, you, you don't ever give with the expectation of like, I'm, I'm giving you this dollar to hopefully get two back somewhere down the road. Um, but you give just with the understanding of by giving, you are um, just living out that life uh, that is going to come always back tenfold. And really it goes hand in hand, that gratitude and also the giving portion, the giving back. Um, it, it, to me, gratitude and giving both put you in the posture to receive. Gratitude is one of the in my opinion, one of the biggest keys uh, to success. It's all about gratitude. But when you really break that down and what that means, it's the act of giving. It's the act of gratitude for being grateful for what you already have puts you in that posture to be able to, to receive more. There are people that are listening to this right now or watching this right now, and you know they may not be someone that goes to church. They not be, may not be someone that has a relationship with God. And there have been times in my life where I've gotten pushback from, from other people, even within the church, in regards to giving, in regards to tithing, and how it's, you know, actually the Old Testament and this and that, and it actually meant this. And, and, and I would always just respond, that's fine. Yeah. It's just something that I'm going to do. And my question to them is always, tell me a little bit about your process for giving on a regular basis to whatever you feel is important to give to. And they typically can't they typically don't have an answer because they don't have a process to which they're giving some amount of money to some other organization or some other cause on a regular basis. This idea of radical generosity and that the times where I have benefited the most and been in the most ab abundant of the most abundant mindset are the times where I have been the most generous. Yep, I agree. Now, there's a there's an interesting struggle there in that in that relationship that I'm not generous because of that. Mm -hmm. It's like I don't give to receive, but I've always received and I've always when I'm given given right. In the times where I've been less generous, I have I have been blessed less. But it's an understanding that you can never outgive God, and it's an understanding that. Whether you want to say the universe will never be indebted to you, but it's the understanding that these things come back, not doing it for that, but doing it with that understanding. And for me, it's all about the lack versus abundance mentality.